don't care if he doesn't believe in vaccines, okay? <laughs> He's an actor. Hey, Jim Carrey, how do you feel about vaccines? Everything that leaves his mouth after that moment is irrelevant to me. What do you think mise-en-scene? Then I'll be like, okay, let's see. Mise-en-scene. 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 <laughs> uh, would you like us to have some uh, mise-en-scene? <laughs> <laughs> the stupid American oh. thinks he ordered a soup. But actually, <laughs> it was about how to place things in the frame. Oh, this stupid American does not like sucking on bones. What a piece of <laughs> 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 American. Stupid Americans. Uh, two of angry men. <laughs> mm, those men de fatigue. Do you still like Bill Cosby? He's just an actor. That's kind of on a different level, I think. That's like, not, what? <laughs> what? Yeah, come on. What? This Wait, is like maybe we're all hypocrites. Maybe we're all False hypocrites. False equivalency. Well, Jim Carrey had an opinion on something science related and was very ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically akin to what Bill Cosby was accused of. <laughs> um, you didn't even want to say it. I don't, I don't like to use the R word. Yeah. Yeah. Righteous. I have a question and a sub question. Mm -hmm. Did you guys like Apocalypto? Sub question: Is it racist to like Apocalypto? I don't know nearly enough about it Hang to on, why is it participate racist? in this conversation. Oh, Mel Gibson directed Apocalypto. There's a bunch of controversy surrounding it. Right. Like I'm, a, I'm aware of it, yeah. and that's yeah. the extent. I thought it was a good movie. Can you just like the work without worrying about where it came from, or is that? No, that's, that's a what I hope. Way. Yeah, I know. I hope that's the case. It's a weird movie for a racist to make, is what I came back to in Chad. I all right. I asked the question. <laughs> Did you do, do you like the movie Apocalypse? I didn't see. Oh okay. Someday C dot is gonna be the room tag. That's probably true. Oh, that will be the greatest of days. You can never leave the lobby. You got to keep it open yeah. forever. Exactly. <laughs> a great name for a nude beach in Alaska. Palin Peaks or Fleshy Point? I'd pay to see her daughter's Palin Peaks. What a strange and creepy thing to say. <laughs> that is, uh, why? Wow. I'd pay this someone is, for nude photos of her daughter. <laughs> that's, that's this is cat. the person you want on your jury? <laughs> 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 the worst advice a doctor could give. Pick something from this drawer and eat it, or, well, you, go, you better go see a doctor about this. So we've been to the ER on... Uh, Myriad occasions over the past few years. That's unfortunate. I, I mean, yeah, but I'm I'm getting pretty close to being John Q every time I go in there now. If I ever see like two doctors having a polite conversation with each other, the whole system's going up in smoke. I'm like we're waiting in here for four hours. You guys are having a conversation about the barbecue this week. Oh, they're still humans, though. Yeah, not not when I'm there. Not on the payroll or not. Exactly. I pay your salary! What the abominable snowman does when he's bored. Make a bomb in a bowl or jax it to the NLSS. Oh, a bomb in a bowl. <laughs> Make a bomb in a oh, bowl! Oh, man. I'm a I... bowl! Who said that? That's Austin. That is me. Chat also did not get it in time, I think. <laughs> See, it sucks you can't explain your own joke or they know it was you that yeah. said it, so you gotta rely on somebody else to figure it out and say it. See, that's why no one's ever trying to be creative on this show. We just go meme city. The government should legalize illegal thing or marijuana. Legalize gay weed. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. What is, what is that? So when we were in Washington, we heard that, like, marijuana is still illegal federally in the US federally but not yeah. on the this state level this is like the FBI could bust your ass in Washington yeah. if they had if they wanted to for some reason stupid shit in the fucking yep. world makes no sense you also have to pay i think your taxes as a business in cash yeah what you, your day up. <laughs> you have to pay your business tax in cash yeah you actually have to do all your transactions in cash there's some weird how video oh I, okay yeah <laughs> There's like a video of this guy from a weed shop that he's holding this envelope that looks like it's from a drug deal, but it's just like, you know, their business is earnings. It's like tens of thousands of dollars that they have to pay in taxes and cash. That's crazy. Jesus. No wonder they keep getting robbed up here all the time. Mm -hmm. Pants would be a whole lot better if they could double as a parachute in an emergency or didn't exist. Not that is an years. undercover brother reference. Is it? Bear Taffy, the parachute pants. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen Undercover Brother? It's one of Dave Chappelle's, uh, everything's. A world without pants? No. Bare butts touching Doesn't Canada sauce? have vending machines for weed? Yeah, the way I understand it is that it's like still illegal, but it's too much trouble to actually shut down the businesses with legalization coming, so they just kind of operate. Every once in a while they get a fine, and they pay it and continue to exist. That's real stupid. We should get it, over that. It's extremely strange, yeah. I don't give you permission to spam that. I only give you permission to spam Mouth's top comment from the last PUBG video. <laughs> it's already on the auto ban, though. It's already on the auto ban? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, hey, chat, you should spam it. What if we made a game that's just PUBG but boats? What do you mean by this? It's just oh, PUBG but boats. That's a really <laughs> smart idea. Like, uh, Blood Wake. Yeah. There you go. But bigger. Yeah, just like Battle Royale. Everybody's on a boat. Dude, I'm, like, why did I just no, make a just football? You are a boat. If they come are, out with no, a yeah, fake campaign that is like, we need funding for Twisted Metal, but it's a Battle Royale, I'm all in. Okay, everyone, mm -hmm. for your favorite. But you're that would actually be kind of fun. Actually. There's not enough good vehicular combat games. Yeah, that's true. The, these well, there days. is that one on, on Steam that... Um, oh, Battle what about trades? We're all oh, trains. Yeah. It's a battle royale train game, right? And you yeah. have to you build the track while you fight. Okay. So you find like track. Yeah. Roller you coaster you only go as far as you have track to lay. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you get but you stuck, you have to be the last train alive out no. of a hundred trains. No. <laughs> so roller coaster tycoon <laughs> battle royale. I'm into it. <laughs> This is a terrible idea. A name for a really bad Broadway musical. Lay Miserables or The Muppets Take Normandy. <laughs> Who remembers that it. shit? Get out of here. It's Lay not just Railroad miserables. Tycoon, it's a battle royale. <laughs> what if they made Dota 2, but it's a battle royale? Is there like, can the Muppets make situations, like any situation tolerable? The, like any terrible no, thing, if you just like put the Muppets the there. Go. Yeah, yeah, can you, yeah, yeah, right, can you right. pause it an example, please? <laughs> yeah, no, please don't. Because <laughs> there's one obvious one that's sitting there in the face. I, I, halfway through that sentence, I got on that same train of thought, Nick. I was like, you know what? This isn't really going to work very well. <laughs> the worst thing you yeah. can stuff a bed mattress with. Your own body parts, or the proceeds from your legal weed selling bud. Who do you stuff your own body parts every night? Mm. Do you stuff it though? I do. Unless, you're in a, unless you sleep in a sleeping bag. Apropos yeah. of the fact that we stayed in the hotel yeah. this weekend, how tall do you guys like your beds to be? At least six oh. and a half feet. What? I... <laughs> it's yeah, like the princess and the pea or something. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have some core strength to get up into bed at night. Oh, wait a minute. You're talking You're talking about height up from the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the length okay, of yeah, the yeah, mattress. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Because <laughs> I'm like, like... to pretend that you're four years old or something when you go to bed every day. <laughs> we have like a, an Ikea bed frame with wood slats, and then our mattress goes in it, and that's it. It's literally like a foot and a half off the ground. It comes oh, up to like God. my shins. I love it. Are you kidding me? Really? Yeah, dude. Sometimes I wake up at like four in the morning and I look over and like Ruka's sleeping on the ground next to me. I can just pet him without even having to stretch my arm. It's ideal. The Japanese way is to have your base your bed is the floor. You just have like a little comforter. In I gotta be honest though, they're yeah. stupid. Oh. The four horsemen wouldn't be as scary if they were the four men at workmen of the apocalypse or the four Re Rex Grossman of the apocalypse. Former <laughs> Chicago Bears quarterback. What um, about headboards? Do you like I, like a proper headboard, or you want like some big metal, like wrought iron shit up there to no, fuck your head? No, I don't care either way. Personally. I don't. I don't, I don't understand the purpose of a headboard. Yeah, I don't even have. So you don't have a wall behind you, right? I do have a wall. I do have a wall behind me. The wall is the headboard. That's why do why I need don't. another wall? Why are you not putting put, put your bed up against a wall and then you have a headboard? No, you just put it in the just center have of the, the room. Bed against the wall. That's why you have a headboard. What are you talking are about? Are you not getting this? Why can't you just have your head against or your bed against the wall? Because you can't have your head against the wall. It's the, it's not a bed then. It's what? No, beds. hold on. Back up. All I'm saying, put put triple, your bed against the wall. The there, is there a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, because your bed can't be against the wall. That's what my instructions were. Why not? Because why do you have a headboard then? 
You don't need a head with what? This is circular logic. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was making a stupid joke. I actually know exactly where I like my bed height. I can tell you, it's it's not a metric that you would necessarily understand. What are you talking about? Yo, what? Dick, dick height. That's where I like it. Right around dick height. <laughs> it, it, that could fit for any one of you. Uh, different, different. What? Uh, Wait, different but you're never heights. gonna be us. I'm losing it. What did you just say? <laughs> I'm saying that's the perfect bed height. Now, is dick height. Yes. Three votes this round to spread out any way you like. What? What's For a shiny glass? Do I want that? The worst menu item that starts with all you can eat. Dick. <laughs> the worst menu item that starts with all you can eat, but it costs more the more you eat. Mod pizza. All you can eat cadavers. Puss. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this one out. All you can eat, but it costs more the more you eat. Okay. That got all my votes. <laughs> you can only vote for it once. That's not true. Not in this one. I'm not voting for any of these. Happening. <laughs> all you can eat, all you can eat, cadavers. Dude, I voted. I'm still a little mind fluttered about the hate for mod pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a pizzeria, but a lot faster. And everyone's like, that's stupid. <laughs> I mean, if it's You're fast, yeah, features. I guess. But yeah. these are faster. <laughs> Everyone's it's maybe assuming there's... Why? No, no, no. Don't start with this. I've never had a problem. Why is faster worse? <laughs> well, it's not cooked in a microwave. It Can't it be neutral? It doesn't have to be worse. I just don't care. Like, it doesn't hit my radar. I think also, typically, like... How fast the food comes out correlates negatively with the food quality. Yeah, yeah. you always cook a pizza low and slow. Well, no, just wrap it in a I mean. in a airtight bag and then sous I vide mean. the pizza. If you ordered like some ribs and they came out in a minute, then you'd be like, ah. If they if I was like, why did the ribs come out so fast? And they said we cooked it in an 800 degree stone oven in the back, I'd be like, all right, more power to you. <laughs> Shit, Ryan, you flooded your own answer. I did. I finessed it. And still get lost. Away with that? Well, I got away um, with it. I just lost anyway. You make a big fuss about brick oven pizza. It's supposed to take a few minutes. True. Why? <laughs> this is a brick <laughs> oven. You can't just say that it's supposed to take time. There's laws of thermodynamics. The oh, this is gonna be fun. If you cook something one, too quick, it's gonna taste worse. I think that's they're pretty much true. Too fast, Generally, though. that's true. Oh, why don't you call in your order to the pizza place? Show up two hours later. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. It doesn't take two hours to cook a pizza. Well, if you want it to be better, apparently you just cook it longer. <laughs> this is like a reverse... This is like a logical extreme, like, beyond... Like, like in the reverse direction. Go to it's the Wikipedia article. Compare your net worth with Mr. Mod. <laughs> this is a bad prompt. We can we can can we no vote this prompt to ever? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I think this might be the worst prompt ever. Actually. This is like gonna be really offensive oh, no matter no. what we put down. Pizza is meant to be cooked quickly at high temps. Rob and Nick are high on their own farts. No, I'm from New York. You can't tell me how to cook a pizza. I'm I'm not talking about anything specifically related to pizza. Just that I'm say all my point was is that it's negatively correlated mm. between how fast food is cooked. Uh, know, maybe we're just bad people. <laughs> you know, you might could make a good point. Yeah, like if I ordered sushi <laughs> and it came out too fast, I would be like, oh, can you guys just take a little bit longer to bring this to me, please? Okay, here we go. I think you're being a little disingenuous there. Uh, they're being disingenuous as well. Specifically for Kim Kardashian. Name a candle scent specifically designed for Kim Kardashian. Odor de Kanye's wiener or no? I, I refuse. Wieners usually smell bad. I don't want like a perfume that smells like a bad wiener. <laughs> Why is it a bad wiener? Yeah. It's a bit racist. A ca little no, bit. Kanye's always like on stage sweating and like being excited. What's I don't want to smell sure his hours. like a wiener bag. <laughs> Hear me out here, though. Yeah, I guess. Why don't <laughs> we have dick deodorant? Like Where would you put it? For you put it on right. the folds. You lift the dick and put it underneath. No, yeah, you put it on the folds, like where your where your pelvis is. How do you apply it? Wouldn't the applicator then need to be disposed of? Why? How dirty is your dick? Like, you got a dick stick, right? And it's gonna get sweaty over time after you use it five Dude, or six times. Dude, if we make the deodorant, we have to call it dick stick. Dick stick, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm so for this. A word that should follow a word that should never follow beef. 
Beef extract or beef curtain? No, I'm so I'm, I'm like this actually being honest. <laughs> we put it under our armpits. Our armpits are hairy and they fold and they get stinky. Yeah. Does it sound familiar? Yeah, I guess it does. I think uh, part of the reason you don't want to put deodorant on your on your dick is you know how deodorant sometimes leaves that like trail of yeah, white residue. Stuff? Oh, residue. Well, yeah. Mm. Come on. We already leave a trail of white That's residue one. everywhere we go. We don't need. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> a good I'm, name for like... an elderly nudist colony: the Droop Scoop or Old Penises. <laughs> Groin sweat smells great though, NL. You don't want to mess with your natural musk. Why not? Because that's like how you get the ladies, yo. No! <laughs> it is rub your yeah, dick in just, your face. Absolutely not. Get right up in your balls and... <laughs> that, that's you. like that carnal energy, dude. That that smell from the groin. That's You gotta be attracted to that. Gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Women do love them a smelly dick. <laughs> Why you coming home in the morning? It will almost undoubtedly taste terrible. Something you should. What are you? Yeah. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, Unless you have some sort of a flavored deodorant. But if it already smells bad, it? like it's still gonna taste terrible. It's just gonna taste like sweat. Make it taste like but an egg layer. But your dick doesn't always smell bad, though. I, mean, I think it. I think it probably. I think it smells great after you shower, and then from that point onwards, it's just. Why are you smelling your dick? <laughs> you smell it from time to time. <laughs> how do you? Oh. How do you, do you get do down, there? down there? Yeah, you yeah. Get your hands down there, touching it to, you know, do your. Oh, business. you're just doing the old, the old. Uh, what do you call you're it? Doing a scratch and sniff. sniff. Yeah, there you go. We had a one vote victory right there. Nice for something that shouldn't be put in a microwave. Mod pizza versus your children. Okay. I shower all the time. See, this is the problem with chat, dude. You come up with an answer to a problem, and they go, well, why don't you just not have that problem? I shower every day. I also <laughs> apply armpit efficiency. deodorant. You could you could apply this ridiculous uh, logical extreme. Why, why would I ever need armpit deodorant? Just to uh, wash your armpits. Yeah, chat. You with the logical extreme. You guys are taking it too far. Thank you, other person at this prompt for... <laughs> oh yeah, this is the definitely right the... Thing. This is way worse than my Kim Kardashian <laughs> candle one. This is a horrible thing. anything to write down in a form when it is for you sits. Plead the fifth to this answer or no vote. Plead the fifth to this answer wins. Yeah, Ryan, why aren't you just washing your armpits? That's... A, I guess deodorant is a lie. <laughs> why don't we get a machine that perpetually washes our armpits That's and just sits one. under our arms Let's always? Look at the scores. I mean, I'd be okay with that. They'll never stink. How, how big can it be? Too. It's are, like you a, are you okay with like having to hold your arms out slightly in order to yeah. facilitate the little like two. cleaning robots? It's just life now. Until we get nano robots to do it. You know what I've always wanted is a nose warmer. Uh, like, Something I can wear on my face during the winter to yeah. keep my nose warm. Well, like a balaclava. I guess, yeah. But you just the want, problem, like a little elastic band with a little thing at the middle. Yeah, like no, yeah, exactly. I don't want the whole rig. I want like just one little, you know, like a clown nose, basically. We could probably build this. I always thought it's like it's got to be something simple. I guess it's just like you know how when you have like an oxygen tank, you have to wear the little thing around your ears and it goes up in your nose, ding, like ding, something ding, like that. Ding. Yeah, yeah, I know. Chat's Dude, right though. What about, about a, what about the now? idea of a scarf? I don't want to cover my mouth. I like. I don't want to obstruct my breathing passages, mm. but I want a warm nose. What you, do I do? You can't really like wear a, a balaclava either. Is the thing because like, it just, just makes you look like you're up to no good. In you the, are. It time. starts like, making trouble in my neighborhood. Exactly. Um, you can in like a really blizzardy, snowy place. People wear balaclavas all the time, actually. If you wear one and you walk into a bank without realizing, that's just gonna like, say, yeah. Right, yeah. In a problem world now. <laughs> the next best thing to chew when you're out of gum, the skin of your loved ones or your bros' gum. Balaclava. Apparently, there is a dick deodorant. Dude, is it called dick stick? Is it the man wipe? It's called uh, sexual fresh for men. It's a horrible yeah. name. That's uh, terrible. Yeah. Bad, bad name. Yeah. How about um, this from Amazon.co.uk? Velvour Manhood Penis Refresh Intimate Genital Deodorant Spray. <laughs> Way better. better. Okay. I'd love a little Astronomically Velvour. better. So I sprayed some deodorant on my penis area. Next and? in line. 
I feel so good penis? right now. You guys should try it. Cool, cool penis. Product received for free. Make receive commission. Oh! Austin, we jinxed on mod pizzas. Oh no. <laughs> A Starbucks coffee that should never exist. Ginger and also bread flavor or Diarrhea Beatty Sino. Chino? Blaze Pizza is mod pizza but owned by LeBron James. Correct. I've heard that. I guess you guys are all smarter than LeBron James. I didn't realize. <laughs> I mean, if LeBron's running the restaurant, then it's a cool idea. Probably better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if only they had some kind of cool endorsement from a, a guy who's successful in his field. Like LeBron James. LeBron James. What do you call a baby Sasquatch? A Bab Squatch <laughs> or a baby Sass? <laughs> Chad is making fun of LeBron James for only having graduated from high school. The dude is gonna have like 40 honorary degrees by the time he's 40 years old. How many honorary degrees do you have, Chad? Yeah, it doesn't matter how you get the degree as long as you have them. Exactly. And he's got a receding hairline. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> the name of the next hot boy band. Dill Pickles and the Dicks or the C Dot Studs. Oh, you know what? Dill Pickles is from the Rugrats. Correct. That's why yep. I thought of that yep. name. Mm-hmm. Dill was his brother. Yeah, the little brother. They had to introduce a new character. The show was starting to die. <laughs> People are getting sick of these babies. Yeah. They want if they grew up. There's a thing. There you go. Yeah, we yeah. gotta follow them all through life. Yeah, that too. Rugrats, old geriatric edition. Was... I don't watch a Rugrats show where they're three, like, the last, you know, last. struggling thirty-year-olds <laughs> trying to like get by. <laughs> yeah, exactly. God, I don't know. Was a failed engineer <laughs> like uh, Tommy. <laughs> It's like uh, all that childlike wonder is shattered in that in that horrible place where they create that show. <laughs> Just seem like I failed you, father. I could never make better toys than you. Our family lineage ends here. <laughs> what? The, st the the storied history of the Pickles family toy factory. Because yeah. his dad wanted to make toys, but he was never very good at it. And then I don't really know what he did for work, to be honest. <laughs> A better name for France: Frank, <laughs> Franck, Culture, Pants, Surrendance. Right. I'm really cheesed because I wrote <laughs> France and then had the euro symbol as the last letter instead of the E. <laughs> and apparently Jackbox just doesn't have that in its in-game font. So sweet. Blaze Pizza is the fastest growing chain and is now the fifth largest pizza chain. LeBron wow. has gotten ten times the return he invested already. Hell yeah. Dude, Tell me dude. again about how what well, you would make fun of it when it's on Shark Tank. LeBron's <laughs> making change. You guys want to hear my... Uh... Impression of stereotypical American reads the map of Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Here you got Portugal, and then up north a little bit of Spain, and then uh, Frank coming up here in the northeast. Uh, excuse me, streamer, you forgot a country there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a little one down here. That's uh, Andorra. He he got it. Wow. I'm amazed. I was looking at a map. <laughs> a map <up> there? <laughs> Don't give me too much credit. Wait, you telling me you got a map over there? I had a map open. Map? But 50% of Americans don't have maps. <laughs> so, that's true. I, I should be that's a shout out to the so Alaska, I'm all British. The Brit Britain. Brit 40% Britain. don't know how to swim. I know Britain because I got my doctorate at Cambridge. You see, this is a character who you thought he was stupid because he speaks in that voice, but actually he's very accomplished within his field. Yeah. Mm. That's a good character. I like him. That's where I invented the solar sail that Rob's so passionate about. <laughs> what about the Baghdad battery? What do you know about that? That's a good one. Why are there more Blaze locations in Edmonton than the rest of Canada combined? They fucking love LeBron James in Edmonton. Everybody knows that. It's the Cleveland of Canada. Cleveland is the Cleveland of Canada. Is that an insult to both Cleveland and Canada? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Little known fact, a secret area in the White House is the non-stop showings of Air Bud 2 room, or a secret nice. area in the White House is the green room. Why are we starting at 10 so late? I know, I'm thinking the same thing, dude. <laughs> dude. Why did you become Australian? <laughs> it's just quite, I, I have to be Australian to stay up that late. Because <laughs> oh, okay. it's like, you know, the morning over there. Tomorrow. It kind of all wraps around and worked into a real joke. 
Malf, go pester Dan in his chat. Get him to end early. The most creative thing you can make entirely out of boogers. A statue of Ryan or larger boogers. That's... Okay. I am a statue of boogers. I'll just never never laugh at anything again. Look, I'm still mad about mod pizza, all right? It's just going to take a little while to bring it back. What are they paying you? It was just really good! Twitter? Wow. All right. What a unicorn's <laughs> butt a, smells a big, like. Huh? All right, yeah. <laughs> what a unicorn's butt smells like. Dick deodorant or groin deodorant? Dude, nothing wrong with the Ernest movies. I don't know. He's got I Ernest in his name. Song. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. Plus, he's he done the quintessential American experience. He's been scared stupid. He's been in the army. He's been to school. Been to jail. And he's been to jail. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole deal. That's, that's all of America right there. Right there. Right there, you got the old... Uh, the eleventh commandment. Thou shalt not follow me, it was all a joke, lol, or go to Chick-fil-A on Sundays. That's not Chick-fil-A, that's chick fil -A. Oh, that is Chick-fil-A. Fila. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. Austin! <laughs> what? I don't read it, I just ordered the Would chicken. Look at one of your receipts. <laughs> Put a chick fil la on Sunday. I just see the big old little sea chicken image. That's all I got, dude. Big old little. Big old oh, no. little chicken sea. <laughs> big old little chicken sea. Oh, I'm all so yeah, oh, yeah, I love making big, 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 big old chicken sea. I'm gonna take a chicken uh, bone and just shuck on it until I lose all the flavor. Oh, baby, I love it when they put that chicken in that pickle juice. Oh, it makes just it so soak it on up. I, I need the calories to. Power chicken my brain well. during my rocket so power. I just ride that yeah, chicken right. all over my head. I got a lot of brain, 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 brain surgery to do later today. I need the energy. <laughs> <laughs> I got three separate doctoral degrees and I ain't afraid to use them. <laughs> you get in there nasty and good luck. Nurse hand me 100 cc's of diathium. <laughs> a bad thing to yell during church. Okay, Jury nullification or rub that tasty chicken all over my nipples. I was uh, mining some Ethereum. I gotta get my supply of <laughs> cryptocurrency up. You know what? I could see that being a redneck thing. Crypto. Really? Yeah, that could. I could see that. Like them just getting like a bunch of bootleg PCs and just like strapping up <laughs> on a trailer. Yeah, it's like a moonshine lab, it. but for <laughs> currency. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Can we just? <laughs> Like, make Bitcoin, but cheaper, so we can buy in on the ground floor. Yeah, there's like a thousand each right now, aren't Four thousand! What?! Yeah, there are a lot. There were just a thousand! Next one. I doubt it. Should've bought in. Should've bought in. in. Should've bought in, yeah. Well, like, how, how is it- cash out. As, how does it exist as a currency, then? I think it's like 99% speculation or something. Like the Vancouver housing market. The name of a canine <laughs> comedy club with puppy stand-up comedians. Bob Barker's Doghouse or the Bark Barn. Such a smart fucking joke, man. Good alliteration. Uh, we had another one vote victory for Bob Barker's doghouse. A bad campaign slogan for a congressperson. Just do it or jury nullification. Nice. Yeah, I'm into it. My food got here <laughs> um, in fucking 13 minutes. Where's it from? Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. It's not oh, Chick-fil-A. Is it Chick-fil-A? Chick no, Chick-fil-A, you have to spend 13 minutes in the fucking line at least. Yeah. yeah sure. What? Is verifiable. What do you mean? Chick-fil-A lines out the door always. Food is yeah. so inconvenient. Yeah, but with the Mr. DoorDash doesn't have to wait in the line, does he? Yeah, of course he does. Are you telling me you order it and then he goes to Chick-fil-A and places the order and then that's brings... What the, that's what the company does. Oh, How no. do you think it works? No, no, no. It sends an order to the restaurant and then the restaurant sends that's out... Grub that's Hub. Grubhub. That's Grubhub. No, that's, that's how DoorDash works here. DoorDash here, they just go anywhere you want and go yeah. pick up the food. That is like having a temporary slave. What about Uber? <laughs> what the fuck are you? That's the same as a delivery boy. The is way that, that no, no, no. The way hired anyone to do anything. The way that DoorDash <laughs> works here is that you like there's a restaurant and you like place an order online and then you see the thing ticking and it goes like okay the restaurant's made your order order and like Donnie has arrived to pick it up and bring it to your house. Mm -hmm. They call it in, and they, they say, hey, I'd like an order of this, and then they go to the place, and they take it, and they leave, and go back to your place. Make up a word for the watery substances that come out of a ketchup bottle when you first squeeze it. Can't chup or shploop? Shploop, yeah. 100%. Definitely shploop, yeah. Absolutely. 
<clears throat> but I'm just saying, like, it's like you tell the dude, hey, go order this from Chick fil A. Like, they don't have your DoorDash order doesn't go to Chick fil A first? It might. It depends on the restaurant. Some like, places, it doesn't seem order. like it's saving you any time, then, in that case. It's not about time, it's about convenience. I mean, is. I'm eating food right uh, now during the show because I ordered it. Isn't the Are, root of convenience saving time? Ooh. Are moving company movers temporary slaves? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, fair enough. Round two. Aren't we all slaves, really, man? <laughs> Wage slaves. Slaves to the We're system. We're just slaves yeah. to the air. Yeah, just <laughs> sad. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Dude, every time Bill Nye did that voice, like, it wasn't funny. It just this pissed one. me off. <laughs> no. Whenever he did, like, the uh, stoner voice, man, like, whoa, crazy. Whoa, science wild, like, man. Like, anybody else can do it, but just for some reason, when he, when he does it, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't like when you do that. <laughs> it's like a fellow kid's moment. Yeah. Well, he's, like, 73 or something, right? How old is he now? He's, he's not that old. I think he's, like, 60. Yeah, he's 61. 61. That's not that old, actually. Nah. Pretty old for a virgin. <laughs> oh, get it? Because he's a fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. Fucking nerd. Yo, Rob, we gotta go play some football later, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's nerds. Yeah, we can just bash some fucking nerds. Yeah. Pants up, yeah. The name of a cocktail for hippies: moonshine margarita. Crypto is catching oh. on. Mountain Dew and racing fuel. How we is that? Who is it? something like that? That's, said how, that's how you it sounded like you were doing Su Wu, like you're in the Crips or something. Su Wu, Su Wu. Isn't that what happens when you uh, touch the flag in Super Mario World? Su Wu. Yeah, Miyamoto is secretly a gangster, actually. Do, 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 like do, do, <laughs> we all know, we all know, we all know the song apparently. Yeah, we're all playing Mario. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've actually, uh, I've had moonshine before. Yeah. Me too. Good. No. Yeah. What was it made out of, Austin? I don't know. It just tastes like alcohol. <laughs> this guy thinks all beers are bad, but all moonshine is good. Mine tasted like horse piss, and trust me, I know what horse piss tastes like. You got it straight from the source. <laughs> it pairs nicely with a chicken sandwich day. from Chick fil A. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The worst things to juggle relationships or career okay, and family. Where's the joke? There is no joke. What do you call a 3.14159 meter long snake? A python. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 How did you both get back at the same time? That was fun. Equal pissing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They must have drank the same amount of fluid. You know what that means is me and Rob have the exact same size dick. That's true, actually. That just means you have the same distance to your bathroom. We were actually talking about the color of your penis on my stream today, baby. Really? Uh, yeah. the color in what of way? Specifically? Yeah, yours specifically, yeah. Why? Why are you uh, always talking about that? Well, <laughs> so I described a half erection as a chub. Yes. Just yeah. didn't like it. Oh, I get And then we, remi Bear's we were dog. Told, reminded yeah. that your, your dog's name is Chubb. So Chubbs. I uh, uh, supposed that perhaps the reason you called your dog Chubbs is because maybe he, he's the same shade of, uh, of your penis. That is what? <laughs> what? I'll just That's say it. That's the reason? You know that Chubbs is black, right? <laughs> hey, people sometimes have different bad color, different shade wieners than their uh, than their skin color. A bad substitute for a surfboard. <laughs> the U.S. Constitution or a giant crab named Mr. Pincher. I, actually, no. You know that you make a good point, Austin. I do want to know: Is your uh, penis the same color as Chubbs? <laughs> as Chubbs' penis or as Chubbs the dog? Ooh. Actually, let's make let's make that be the follow-up. Nope, too far. <laughs> Damn bear, I didn't realize you were packing. Does that Damn change bear. like your opinion of me as a content creator? <laughs> if I have a oh, yeah, big old absolutely. dick, does that make me like way more appealing? We had the same conversation at PAX, actually. They will. What? what? Yeah. Well, because everyone's always like, who do you think is the biggest dick in the LSS? Right. And then we were all like, that's kind of a weird question to ask, but independently we were like, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> something. It's something about the soft-spokenness. You know, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I could speak no, softly sure. and carry a big stick. The worst way to spell Mississippi, my sis is pee pee, 
Or Mrs. There's also a piss in there. Have you all measured your dicks? As as a as a younger lad, I may have. Yes. Yeah. I never. Don't say you may have. Say you did. I didn't. I never did. You never did. Never. Scared scared of the truth. Did you ever try your own cum though? That's the real question. Hey, stop! I'm just asking questions here. What Waldo from Where's Waldo says to himself in the mirror? I should give Malf his shirt back or found him. <laughs> wow, roasted. I Probably. mean, you, you're just better living in blissful ignorance than Austin. Yeah, honestly. I mean, you can fall the reason one. why I haven't is like really stupid, though. You don't own a ruler. Okay, well, I don't have a ruler. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. And you don't want to use a tape measure in case it like snaps oh, back. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, dangerous, oh, dude. You don't yeah. want to do that. That'll lacerate. Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You could use like a. You could use something that you know the length of. Yeah. Like a foot long that. sandwich from Subway. Work, though. Yeah. Like, well, no, like any six inch from Subway, because you know they're cutting them exactly six inches. Right. Yeah, but what do you use to measure the other half? Right. Nice. Aren't yeah. there phone apps that are just right. like a ruler? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything to gain from learning the true measurement of your dick? You can brag nah. about it. Yeah, I guess so. But like none of you are bragging about it, so what does that tell us about your stuff? <laughs> Speak the softly best and way carry to a seem big. like you've got a small dick is to talk about how big your exactly. dick is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. See, I like the luxury of not even having the information, so I can't even brag about it. But I mean, you know, one way or the other. I don't. But you know. <laughs> you you can like okay, roughly judge. No. Like if it's the size of a typical banana, you got a big. Dick. That's a huge I mean, one. I'm like really bad at distance judgments. I'm really good at time judgments, but I'm horrible at distance. Hang on a second. I have, to, I have to get this out of my brain while it's bouncing around in here. <laughs> okay. So you got a friend named Richard. Yeah. And he is selecting from several photos of your penis that have all been uh, fermented. What? Therefore, dick picks your pickled dick picks. <laughs> The pictures are fermented. No, see, I had to set, Jesus I had Christ. to set all that up <laughs> just for the right sentence. The dick picks your pickled dick picks. Dick picks your pickled dick picks. It's fun to say. Dick yeah. picks. Dick's pick. Dick picks your pickled dick picks. 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 The worst flavor for a snow cone: poop or water. <laughs> it's time to play poop or water. <laughs> That's probably already a Japanese game show at this point. Bro, uh, something you shouldn't stuff with cheese: a cow or your mother. Stop What's the difference? Is kind of fucked What's up. the difference? Whoa. <laughs> Did you up. see the show where? They sent, it's a Japanese show. They sent a dude out on a date with a woman, but his goal for the date was to not let her know that he was only wearing a suit that had a front side, and on his back side, he was completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> so he had to reposition himself as as best as he possibly could to never show his back to his date. That's right. Really and then they did it again, but they didn't tell him that the girl on the date was doing exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was a good, it was nice. a good Reddit rabbit hole. How did hole. they walk through a doorway? Well, they all <laughs> wanted the other person to go first. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Did they put thumbtacks on the seats when they sit down? They did not. That was hilarious. Whoopee cushions. Yeah. Did they put fucking glass in their food? <laughs> <laughs> did they hit them with baseball bats? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, they did kill them both at the end. Oh, well, good. Yeah, that's, that's the only way. It's poetic. The first inductee of the A-Hole Hall of Fame. Alex Rodriguez, or is this for douchebags or impressive anuses? Dude, I would totally go to an asshole Hall of Fame. Not for the best-looking anuses of all time, but for douchebags. That mm. seems like a very satisfying time. Right, yeah. You, like, walk through it, you'll be like, you know, this guy's he's a real dick. <laughs> This guy one time, he laughed at a homeless person as they went by, and then all of his friends started laughing too. Incited an entire crowd in laughter. 
<laughs> just having just won five hundred thousand dollars on CBS's oh, Big no. Brother. <laughs> Pickled dicks, dick pics, and impressive anuses. Nice. Yeah. Are triple, they have a penis museum. The they do, yeah. It's pretty disappointing, honestly. I have a penis. I have museum. No, God. <laughs> penis no. museum. What would you do if you were left alone Chill in the White House now. Asa Akira literally won an award for her anus. Current events. What's your dad oh, like? I should have definitely said watch Air Bud 2. How did I not do that? <laughs> oh, you can get in the room, though. What would you do if you were left alone in the White House for an hour? Pee on pretty much everything, jerk off in the green room, search for hidden artifacts like Nick Cage, or more than the current occupants, LOL, got him. Oh, Rick! You might like that first one. <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> the president. <laughs> Donald Trump. This is uh, getting a little... <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I, I got him though. You did get him. Gorka. You got real close to the mic, dude. I heard that. Gorka. Gorka. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew if I did one more, I'd get robbed and Joey. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh man, chat, you got my back, don't you? We got him, didn't we, chat? Yeah, I think you got him. Oh, we got him! Oh, they got him. Trump doesn't even know what's coming. Dude, I bet he watches this show. He just got roasted. Here comes the tweet. That's the end. The <laughs> no talent, Northern team. Lions. <laughs> and his failing Twitch show. <laughs> couldn't even get past the round of eight in Champions of Fire. Sad. Who do these streamers with animal names think they are? Think they're better than me. Can you do a, like a good Donald Macho Trump? Man Randy Savage. That was, <laughs> this is kind of a Brandy Savage mixed with Shrump a little bit. I'm trying to figure it out. Shrump? Shrump. I watched the show. It wasn't even funny. It's not that bad. It really was. That was pretty good, yeah. I was hearing like channeling Seth Meyers' version of him or something. Right, yeah. It's yeah. an impression of an impression. Believe me. Believe oh, me. you you should try Michael Caine trying a Trump impression. Not Ryan. I think that's maybe up your alley. I'm Michael Caine. <laughs> Nothing goes up my alley. Believe me. I would know. <laughs> that's young Michael Caine. Um, <laughs> just Michael Caine. That's young Michael Caine. It's anyway. just the West. Is Monster Hunter World next year? 2018, yeah. And nobody knows when it's... Because it's going to be console first and then PC later. Eh, stop Hope, that. Hopefully stop. like 12 hours later. Do Let it, me uh, issue a stop that even off our show. Just stop that. Stop. Stop.